Welcome to Logitech G Drive to Win series episode number 8. My name is Suelio Almeida, professional racing driver and coach and creator of the Motor Racing Checklist. In this video, we will talk about strength theory, inducing understeer and inducing oversteer. A race car driver will be faster than others when they carry more speed while cornering, right? The string theory is one of the most important steps to master cornering technique. It is simply a way to visualize how we should transition from braking into turning in a way that maintains the most grip usage possible in the four tires. Imagine that there is a string connecting the steering wheel to the brake pedal and after braking hard on a straight line, we start turning the wheel which pulls the pedal up at the same rate, releasing the brakes. The more we turn, the less we brake. Although this idea looks simple, the rate at which we release the brakes as we turn will differ drastically from car to car. We need to find the right correlation between steering and brake release to optimize the car's rotation and consequently cornering speed. What we need to find first is the right amount of steering based on how much the car is slowing down. For example, if you turn the steering too much, you will go over the optimal slip angle on the front tires and they will start sliding on the track, overheat and lose turning performance. If you turn too little as the car slows down, you will be simply not using the available grip, also losing turning performance. You will feel this loss of traction immediately in your hands through a direct drive wheel like the G-Pro. We know we're optimally using the steering into a corner when the trail braking increases the rotation even more. There is this magic combination of steering and brakes that is of course never gonna be fixed, it changes as the car slows down, so it's a moving target, that will make the car rotate so much that we can even spin the car. A good exercise is to try to find this magic combination and get the car to rotate as much as you can, even spin, and then back off from that just a little bit on the brakes to have a more controllable oversteer into a corner. If you're just on the edge of oversteering, that means you're pretty much on the limit and that is the ideal cornering speed for that radius. So if you're using all the track and you manage to get that rotation all the way around the corner, you're pretty much on the good limit. This exercise, spinning the car on entry, will help you develop a skill called inducing oversteer. It is easier to be done in cars with a lower brake bias. So if you're trying to do that on a car with a brake bias that is too high towards the front and ABS, you'll most likely just understeer. The string theory generally makes the car rotate more. If you notice that the car is turning so much that you're hitting the inside of the track too early, bingo, you unlocked extra turning capability and you can carry a little bit more speed in the corner or the next few laps. The string theory is then perfect when you start carrying so much speed where the car hits the apex while oversteering a little bit. Normally, when you get into too much oversteer because of this exercise, the solution is to start releasing the brakes as the car gets this extra oversteer state. This is called inducing understeer. You induce understeer when you release the brakes a little bit more quickly at a given micro moment to shift a little bit more weight to the rear tires, feed them with some extra grip and regain the balance of the car. Of course, if you try that too late, you will end up crossing the point of no return, which is when the car gets into too much oversteer and spins. Inducing understeer and oversteer can happen several times at a single corner. You'll basically dance with the car through the brake pedal inputs. Slower brake release means more rotation, quicker brake release means less rotation. Remember that the engine braking plays a big role here, so if you're downshifting a little bit more quickly, you will get more engine braking, which will 
amplify the tendency to rotate overall. So it will affect your exercises with the trail braking, with inducing more rotation and inducing less rotation. So sometimes the car has so much engine braking that just downshifting very, very aggressively will make the car spin even without braking. Make sure you're also thinking about the downshifting speeds while doing these exercises. You will find the right balance after practicing this for some weeks. The more you do, the more you'll gain the reaction speed and reflex to play with the car on the limit without being afraid of spinning. Take your time to practice the many variations of the string theory as you try to make the car rotate more and less and find the limit to carry the most speed possible on the corners. Once you can introduce undersheer and oversheer with control, you can drive to win.